Um, again, I want to make sure that to identify the vertical asymptotes. Uh, the easiest thing to do is, again, to want to see if we can factor anything. The numerator cannot be factored. The denominator can be factored into x minus 1 times x plus 1. Again, I can't simplify anything, so therefore my two discontinuities are going to be non-removable. So to find my vertical asymptote, I just set them both equal to 0 and then solve. So I have x minus 1 equals 0 and x plus 1 equals 0. So therefore, I have x equals 1 and x equals negative 1. So those are my two vertical asymptotes. OK. OK, you look sad. Horizontal asymptote, based on my rules that I gave you over there, um, this is number 3. If the degree in the numerator is equal to the degree in the denominator, then your horizontal asymptote is y equals the leading coefficient of the numerator over the leading coefficient of the denominator. So that's y equals 1 over 1, which is y equals 1 is your horizontal asymptote. Yes? So the difference is like rules, like the Basically, yeah. But the difference, it's the same kind of thing applies. But remember, what I'm going to explain here next, I'm going to do a problem. But remember, just because it makes the denominator 0 doesn't mean it's an asymptote. It could also be a whole. And that's what I'm going to kind of explain in the next problem. Just real quick, I'm just going to do. This is part of 